For tonight's dinner, I'll be making mentaiko pasta. I'm just taking out the mentaiko from my freezer, so by dinner time, it'll be defrosted and ready to use. Mentaiko is spicy cod roe, and you can find it in all Japanese markets and some Korean markets as well. Sometimes you can find them in the frozen aisle, and sometimes it will be wherever the fish would be. But I think mentaiko is really useful to keep in your freezer because this dish comes together in 15 minutes and it's great for those nights when you don't want to make another trip to the grocery store and you just want to make use of whatever you got in the fridge. I always have some kind of leftover parmesan or pecorino cheese in my fridge so i found that this is a good opportunity to use some of it and i added it to my mentaiko mix typically for garnish shiso leaves are used but i didn't have any on hand so i just used basil and i'll add some mint later as well To add some texture to my dish, I'm going to grill some okra. I love okra, especially when it's grilled. If you've ever been to a yakitori place, they do grilled okra so well. It's delicious. If you've never tried it, definitely give it a go next time. So like I mentioned before, I'm garnishing with some basil leaves. I also have some yukari, which is a dried purple shiso leaves, and I'm going to sprinkle some of that on top. I also have some mint leaves, which I'm going to just tear up and throw on top as well. And that's Monday night's dinner. Mentaiko pasta with some grilled okra, as the Japanese call it. I forgot to add nori to my garnish, so I'm just gonna cut them up right now. It's Tuesday and I'm making chicken thighs marinated in shiokoji with miso soup and easy broccoli salad. I'm starting my prep a little early today because the chicken needs to marinate for at least an hour. I made this shiokoji batch myself but you can also buy shiokoji from the Japanese market. Okay. 
I'm grating a carrot for the miso soup, but I hate using the grater. I'm always scared that I'm going to grate my flesh off. I had some leftover chicken stock in the fridge, so I'm going to use that to make my miso soup. The only thing I'm using to season my broccoli today is shio kombu. Shio kombu is seasoned kelp or seaweed and it's basically been boiled down with soy sauce so it has a lot of umami in it. The soup is looking nice and orange from my carrots and I was whisking my miso in, I had realized I had added way too much miso. The chicken is ready! I always check the internal temperature before I serve it too. I'm saving one of the pieces for lunch tomorrow and I will serve the bigger piece for dinner tonight. Wow, tonight's dinner looks so good. We have the chicken, we also have the broccoli and some miso soup to kind of wash everything down. Today, I'm starting out by making the dashi first. Then, I'm moving on to preparing the kabocha pumpkin. Let's prepare the snow peas. I like to pull out the stringy membrane so it's more pleasant to eat it. Mm -hmm. 
for our main dish today, I'm making a version of oyakodon. We already have our eggs ready and my dashi is ready and I'm just going to cut up some chicken. So while the chicken is getting browned, I will finish my second batch of kabocha pumpkin. While the chicken gets cooked, I'm going to finish my kabocha kinpira. Now back to my oyakodon, I'm going to add in the eggs and cover and let it cook for a little bit. And that's it for tonight's dinner. Kabocha, kinpira, and oyakodon with some snow peas and bonito flakes. I'm starting out with preparing dashi again. I probably should have made a batch of dashi at the beginning of this week, but I got lazy and now I've been using dashi packets every day. Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. I have a lot of unused veggies and I'm gonna try and cook something with them. It's been kind of cold today, so I thought a nice little vegetarian udon soup would do it. I should say it's almost vegetarian because the dashi is not vegetarian at all. My dashi is ready and I'm going to make the soup for my noodles. It's just going to be really simple. I'm just going to add some soy sauce to my dashi. Then I'm going to add the mushrooms in and let everything simmer until all my other components are ready.
time to assemble our noodle soup and make everything look pretty for photos. And that's my super easy noodle soup with tons of veggies. I'm starting tonight's prep by making kombu dashi. Even after yesterday, I still had a ton of veggies left in the fridge. So tonight I'm making a hot pot recipe from my favorite cookbooks, Donabe. The recipe I'm making today is a chicken nabe with a ton of veggies in it. This is negi, a Japanese green onion. It doesn't taste as strong as a green onion, but I love the texture of the white parts when I make it in a hot pot. This is some leftover chicken from Oyakudon night and I'm just going to marinate it with some salt before we cook it. So I guess I left the combo in hot water for way too long and now my dashi is looking kind of slimy. So I gotta start over and I think I'm just going to use some dashi granules today. The chicken and veggies should be cooked by now and I'm gonna add in the snow peas and let it cook for a minute or so and then we're ready to eat. Well, that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!